What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today we're going to be opening up a uh, Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms tin uh, for you guys. So yeah, of course, uh, this was sent to me by uh, Big Collectibles, be sure to check them out, link in the description. And uh, it's just cool to open up on these older tins, you know, the Dragon Ruler tins are actually pretty cheap, or at least Tempest and Redox, so... Let's hope for the best. Maybe we'll get some cool cards from this. Also, you know, I, I still love the different promos that are in this set. I mean, I, I, I know I'm bringing up every time, but seriously, Baron's Force, that's that's the card you go to, not like You're Geeking X or something like that from this set. No, you're going to brag about how Baron's Force has the reprint. But I, I will never get over that because it's just so funny to me. We have Yuma over here. Super Saiyan Yuma, I should say. That's what I always <laughs> say about him. Our promo pack, let's see what we get. Tempest is my favorite of Dragon Rollers anyway, so I still like having all these secret rare versions of them and like stockpiling them. Alright, so of course Tempest, you guys know that. Thunder Seahorse, uh, Gear Gigan X, uh, number 50, Black Ship of Corn, and Rank of Magic Baron's Force. There you go, that's your main card. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, Gear Gigan X is probably the best at the promos. Although Tempest is pretty cool. If they ever come back on Dragon Rollers, there you go. Anyway, Cosmo Blazer. Let's go with that. I just mean like Tempest because he works with Dragoonities. It's really that simple. Oh, we got Fire Formation Tensu. That's one of the better commons. Have uh, Blackwing uh, Damiscus Polar Knight for rare. So we got a Blackwing monster. Unfortunately, not one of the better Blackwing support cards. You know, it's kind of where they just started making random cards and they really weren't the best. Let's see, another Cosmo Blazer. Drag Impact. Guess that's kind of neat since we have all the dinosaur structure deck cards now. Have the Inferno Flame Vixen for rare, and do we have something? Oh no, he just trolled me. <laughs> it's it's the fusion that's a uh, that's a common. Okay, this one's I guess honestly one of the better commons too because I've seen a lot of combos with him. A lot of fun to watch replays that people send me uh, with that card too. Let's see, uh, Lord Attack on Galaxy. Basically, though, if you see that fusion being made, you're about to get like some kind of burn OTK done against you. We have Altitude Knight, and do I have some of this, or am I getting trolled again? And Mega Phantom Beast Draco Sack! <laughs> Holy crap, you got to be kidding me! That is awesome! I think that's the first time I've ever gotten this card from its actual set! Oh, that is so cool! I mean, uh, I still hope that, uh, I know we've heard some rumored stuff about new Mega Phantom Beast cards, I know there's actually one in a Circuit Break, so I'm hoping maybe they add a few others, like some World Premiere ones for us, when it's actually printed for us, but, uh, yeah, that is so cool! I'm hoping Mega Phantom Beast will make a comeback, though, and this is honestly one of the best XC monsters that we've ever gotten, so, that is amazing. Like I said, I don't think I ever got it from its actual pack that I can recall anyway. I know I've had good luck getting it from like Mega Packs or Mega Tens and stuff, so that looks awesome. So instantly an amazing tin. <laughs> that is so cool. I know I could see it was a Sea Monster and I was thinking, you know, there's no way it could be that. I was thinking it'd be like number 107. Which it would still be amazing. Well, I'm already happy with this tin. We have do a barrel roll. That's kind of tough to say, but... <laughs> and then, last pack. Number Hunters. We're guaranteed hollows in these, so... Let's see what we got here. And we'll get a Number Monster, at least. It is Number Hunters. Equip Engineer. That's one of the better cards of the set. Well, we have a Photon Laser. I guess I'll read through all of them. Uh, number 63. Then we have Gash of the Dust Soldier. And then also Chaos 60 Sky Palace Babylon. Now this is one of the secrets I seem to always get from this set. He looks pretty cool. He looks like some kind of Power Ranger cannon or something. I don't know. Uh, interesting little card. At least they look cool on that. But yeah, there we go. That is the 10 opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I mean, I got Draco Sack. I'm happy. <laughs> that, that's all right there. Of course, back then, imagine getting that. That would have just been amazing. But yeah, it's been reprinted a couple times, so it's not as rare and expensive as it used to be, but still, just getting one, I mean, that's just awesome. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, their profiles, discussions, and all kinds of other things, as well as, of course, like this video if you enjoyed it, and uh, leave a comment to find the openings you guys want to see. You want to see some more older tin openings, or, I don't know, Dragon Ruler tins, Gold Series... But yeah, just give me some uh, ideas of different openings you guys would love to see. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.